Hey guys, we are here today to go in depth on this pulley compared to the CTS Turbo lightweight pulley that we have installed on the car right now. But before we go too far in just what all the numbers specifically are, let's go mid install to get a better visual comparison between the CTS and this stock pulley. Okay, so we are mid install of the CTS Turbo lightweight pulley. And I can tell you what, this is a lot more lightweight than this bad boy. I don't know if you can see my hand shaking just a little bit, trying to hold it. We're gonna get this thing weighed. We've actually got some numbers on all of these things. This one is 12.9 ounces, four and a half inches in diameter. We're gonna check the rev time. We got some before stuff. This one looks probably about six inches in diameter and weighs, I'm guessing three to five pounds. It's hefty. It is very, very heavy, but we're gonna get specific numbers on both of these and really compare them. And I'm interested to see how the rev time changes with this because we're saving a couple pounds on rotational mass and we are saving on parasitic loss in the accessory belt system. So let's get these weighed. One of the things I was not expecting from the CTS pulley was that it would be an underdrive. This is definitely bigger as you could tell from just holding them out side by side comparison. Like I said, this thing's pretty hefty for what it is. Now I've got all the numbers right here on my phone and we are gonna go through every single one of them. We've got three parameters that we're doing. We're doing weight, rev time, and diameter. I was horrible with circles, so if we're measuring across this is not diameter, someone please tell me. I'm so bad with circles, I need help. But that's what we're doing. So we're gonna start with the stock pulley. And I'm not gonna lie, my estimates were actually pretty close. The diameter of this is 5.6 inches. I said it was about six inches. So 5.6 inches across. The weight, let me get this right, was three pounds, 15.6 ounces. So nearly four pounds on the weight of this. And I said it was about three to five. Oh, I guess my guessing skills are pretty good. And then the rev time through using just kind of frame by frame analysis on a camera, it came out to 1.42 seconds. Still, that is pretty quick. This thing is still really heavy though. I know there's a lot of other areas that you can remove weight from the rotational system, such as a lightweight flywheel that we're gonna be doing when we do a stage two clutch for stage two power. That is gonna be exciting. But next, we are gonna go to the CTS pulley and the numbers that that brings. So, first of all, the weight of the CTS pulley, I told you guys in that little excerpt video, was 12.9 ounces. It's pretty light. The rev time with the camera that I said was 1.29 seconds. Now that was 0.13 seconds faster than the stock pulley and the diameter is 4.5 inches. Now, if you want those as percentages, the CTS turbo lightweight crank pulley for the Mark 6 GTI is 80% lighter. It's a lot lighter, but that, that's the biggest number. That's the biggest number by far. And the CTS pulley is 20% smaller in diameter. So it's 20% underdrive. That's pretty, pretty drastic. Not as big as the 80% reduction in weight. And then the number that I was really interested in to see is the percentage of how much faster. As I said, it was 0.13 seconds faster in rev time. So it's, it's faster. That's, that's not within question. It is faster, but that's only a 10% reduction in speed, only 10% faster. That's not bad. And I've actually got videos in fast mo and slow mo that you can look at. And I've, as I've been looking at them, I've kind of noticed something as the tack gets up to 3000 RPM, you'll notice that the stock pulley is actually revving faster at that point than the lightweight CTS pulley. But then once boost kicks in and you've really got that thing rotating, you can see the CTS lightweight pulley just zip past it and get to redline faster. So from 3000 to redline, that CTS pulley is putting in the work by not having to do as much work. It is helping the car to just rotate the wheels 
that much better, taking that power that is created in the engine and putting it to the ground, not having to worry about rotating the AC compressor or the alternator pulley. Now, as I was thinking about it, about why it was only 10% reduction, I thought about how a stage two lightweight flywheel from ECS is 18 pounds. That is a lightweight flywheel. There are some flywheels that go down to nine or 11, I think, for some of them. But I think the stock weight is in the 20s. I think it was maybe 27 pounds. So I think the 18 is 33% reduction, which would be nine off 27. That's what makes sense. That's where a lot of that weight is. We've, we've saved about three pounds on one side, but there's still 10 times that on the other side. That's where a lot of that rotational is. That's why it's not that much faster. You can tell it, the, de the car definitely feels better to drive. We've got a full butt dyno report video talking about how it feels to drive and we did a zero to 60 run, even though we're still looking for that power loss. Go check it out. That video is fun, but there's still a lot more weight to be taken off in this rotational system of the engine on the crankshaft. We're gonna get to it eventually, but this CTS turbo lightweight pulley was fantastic and the numbers back it up. <coughs> Hopefully that burp doesn't make it in there. The install of this is pretty straightforward. I would highly recommend having another person there to help you with the Schwaben counter hold because you're gonna need that for sure. Some people say you can impact it off and get it back on. Someone had someone in there with the on the brakes in gear or something to get off and on and get the torque. And like I said, you know, the install video, you gotta do 111 foot pounds of torque or else that thing is gonna fly off. So you gotta do that. But like I said, you gotta have two people to do it. It's not that hard. Once you get in there, it took me and Jake, I think 40 minutes total. And that's including the time it took to set up the camera, do the intro, do the outro, all those things that goes with filming a video. And that's only 40 minutes. That's really not that bad. Install's pretty easy and definitely worth it. And you're saving weight. You're saving on rev time and it's an undrive pulley. And I think it is 100% worth it. There is, oh, who else? Someone, Spolin makes another version of this, but it's an identical pretty much. Both I think would be great. I went with the CTS, um, it was on ECS's website. Couldn't find the Spolin one really anywhere when I started looking when they were just talking about it. And I just nixed that anyway and went for the CTS. Easily available and got it, love it. You should get one too. But anyways guys, Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this was educational on you on some of the numbers between the stock and lightweight pulley for the Mark 6 GTI. News guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Please subscribe and remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.